Hey Matthew, yeah. are you excited to have a turbo conversion done today? Absolutely <coughs> thrilled. Bowman at the mouth. Here, there. And sort of like that. That's that's basically how it's going. <laughs> Alright. Bolt score undone. Well, this side anyway, we just gotta do the ones down here, get this out of the way. Um, and then we can begin on the fun process of actually of building a turbo. Um, it's not as not as intimidating and not as scary as you might think on one of these things. It's all quite simple. Even down here, this little this little nugget down here is a bung for an oil feed so we just got to tap into that that's our oil feed for the turbo these here we're going to tap into those for our water lines and the only tricky part we've got to do is drill into the sump for an oil return the rest is pretty much bolt in so i guess this is where we start doing exactly that later na's okay next big step We've now clocked the turbo, everything's sitting pretty much where it should be. Well, I've only done one bolt up, so it's just got a little bit of movement, but you know, we do what we can. Oil feed is going to go into the sump down there, that's going to be nice and lined up. We've now got the uh, compressor housing all nicely squared out, and our plan is to route the intercooler piping from here down through the guard. There's plenty of space, the wheel's all the way over here, so even when you turn the wheel, there's still a hell of a lot of room here, so that's going to go down straight underneath the car forward and of course the intercooler is going to be sitting in the front there only bit that's going to be a bit tight is going to be the downpipe out of here because this does sit quite a way back but uh, I reckon we can make that fit so uh, we just need to do this little bung down here for the oil feed that's going to go up to here we've got some coolant lines that come out of here going into those parts and um, then we start some fabrication so that is going to happen around about update so uh i was pointing to the wrong one i completely forgot that the oil feed's actually a little bit further down here i don't know if you can see where i'm pointing but there's two bungs don't use that one that's that's your water so here's your oil feed down the bottom uh so here we go one nice braided oil feed line and we're just about to drill a massive big hole in the sump which is the scary part of this whole process is is that hole in the sump uh, and glenn is making some brackets for the intercooler so that's going to mount up there, and honestly, we're like 12% done. So uh, Matt's looking about 12% excited, and Glenn's looking about 12% annoyed. So, let's crack on. That is big moment. This is always the most exciting part of a turbo build. Well, no, no, sorry, take it back. There's two exciting parts. One's putting the turbo in. The second part's putting the intercooler in. And the third part is that first... Whoosh. Righto, update time. So we have... A hole in my glove. Also, we have a uh, completely plumbed up turbo. Oil feed done, water lines done, oil return done, um, and it's all mounted properly. The bolts are all done up. I tell you what, that bolt down there, oh, many swear words. Um, so, we are just at the moment doing the um, cold side intercooler piping, and after that, We've got is the hot side to do, which we're probably going to run down into here, as I mentioned earlier. And then it's just a downpipe, and um, we're away laughing. The intercooler is all mounted in place and looking lush as fuck. And um, yeah, so we've been uh, swearing and cursing and running ourselves dry today, um, but like overall, I think it's been a, a pretty, pretty decent day's work. A couple little bits to do. Um, oil return was scary. Drilling a hole into a sump on an engine that you're not intending to pull apart and clean out and all that kind of stuff. That was a bit terrifying. But um, I think we're good. Um, what do you reckon, Matt? 
Yeah. You happy with progress? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Yeah? I've been cranking along pretty good. I reckon, eh? At the end of the day. I mean, a few hiccups, but... Yeah, you get um, the hiccups were mostly that manifold. We actually... To mount the turbo up has actually taken me nearly two hours. That manifold was not fun to do up, and I'm washed out as far. Let's go that way. That's better. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. It's like half past five at night. Probably gonna go grab a bite to eat soon and crank in tomorrow. And um, yeah, yeah. I think um, I think tonight we are uh, pretty close. Pretty close. Right, on tacked up cold side intercooler piping. All we've got to do is add the blower valve, which is going to sit around about here somewhere, I'd say. And uh, now that's ready for some fully welding and then some paint. <clears throat> and then we just got to do the hot side. So we've drilled the hole for that. We've got to plumb it from here down through there. It's a tight fit. Uh, we've literally got to follow the guard right down through here because the tire, the wheel comes in quite close. Um, but there is room so we can make that work. Um, and then once we're done with that, it's just downpipe, add some oil, and away we go. So uh, we've made this, what looks like a slightly huckery intake, but it's going to work fantastically well. Um, because eventually Matt's actually going to ditch all this. And with the aftermarket ECU, it's going to be um, map sensor control. So the pod filter is going to mount straight to the front of the turbo when that happens. Um, this is just so that we can run the stock ECU with a couple of sneaky little tweaks um, until then. So like I think, I think for a huckery setup, it's working fantastically. So, <clears throat> Glenn's just doing the hot side uh, intercooler piping right now. And um, once that's finished, we've got a couple of bits to add to the cold sides for, for the blow-off valve and the IACV. Um, and then it's onto the downpipe. I mean, realistically, we could fire this up um, pretty soon. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Right, oh, I don't know what he's done here, but we'll, we'll tidy that up. Um, the hot side intercooler piping is now all connected. Uh, goes down to the intercooler down the front here, piping goes under. <clears throat> we have enough clearance here from the wheel. Um, so, yeah, um, that's all mounted up, heat shield installed. It ain't going anywhere. This is a temporary measure, obviously. Uh, that's all done up just literally like it's, it's the downpipe to go now um bats but out here doing some painting we have ourselves some nice shiny uh this is the cold side so here is the iacv port and down here is the port for the bar valve and uh yeah looking good mate there we go so look we have a blow-off valve we have the isc valve we have the uh, turbo hot side intake. Glenn's just doing the downpipe right this minute. And uh, I've done this little back here for a little bit just until he gets his catch can sorted. Blocked off the other side there so we don't get any uh, boost forcing into there. But we are pretty well done actually. I take you down here. <coughs> you can see. The starters, one times intercooler, and then under here we've got obviously the radiator at the back there, the cooler at the front, cold side piping there, hot side piping comes up 
through the guard there at the top we have measured we've got plenty of clearance with at full lock from the wheel so that's not a problem and there's the underside of the turbo oil return something to note with this oil return there is a narrow amount of space you can work with on here um, if you drill the baffle plate comes in pretty much just on the edge of where this is sitting if you actually go too far back you'll hit that baffle plate so do watch if you're doing this conversion um, where you drill this hole you will need to uh, come slightly further forward on this uh, little bit of space we got here um, other than that everything's pretty straightforward um, yeah there's no other real hitches you can fall into but that is something you definitely want to note because you can't screw this in too far as well obviously you've got your crank counterweight spinning around there but mainly it's just that baffle plate you don't want to go pushing that in um, to the crank so yeah keep an eye on that one everything else is uh yeah ready to turn the key and away we go okay the big moment of truth um this is this is what you do in every uh every project you start the car off the downpipe and uh we've reached that we've reached that point so we just gotta hope it starts well that went well That's us, we are done. Uh, one times downpipe. Everything cleared. Excuse that little bit of weld there, there's a, a difference in pipe sizes. Um, blow off valve, all plumbed up, intake, all plumbed up. And Glenn has just done, or just finished I should say, the downpipe. Hooked it up to the exhaust. Nice little cut he's done there. So this is sort of temporary because Matt is going to finish um, the rest of his exhaust at some other time but we don't have time to build a whole exhaust this weekend so that's the uh, two and a half inch up to here we'll probably cut it there and then do a two and a half inch the whole way but um, we are actually good to start it up again set the base timing take this thing for a drive got the wide band all set up um, we're going to check mixtures and try and adjust fuel pressures to get things as close as we possibly can uh, honestly, I don't know where we're going to be at on this. Um, this is the only thing we're kind of nervous about. Because it is on the stock ECU, so... Only one way to find out. But, uh, yeah. We're, um, actually about ready to, to freaking send it. Right, so we're running take two. All plumbed up now. So, she's nice and quiet. And it's going to be even quieter too once we don't have this thing in there that tends to make things sound a little bit fartier 12.4 12.5 12 12.6 12 dude it's actually pretty good oh, just load it up a bit more yep 11.8 so okay that's lean yeah that, that was breaking up there yeah okay that's starting to lean out and i was about half throttle okay so it's 12.3 here 12.4 so that's perfect yes <laughs> I'm like so light as well on the throttle. Yeah, well we need to get a bit of load on. Yeah. So we know it's good, like worst case scenario, it's good at light loads. Yeah. So this will get you home. Um, so that we way? just, yep, left. Yeah, and the mix just go all up the shit as soon as you're not on it. Off all the shit. Yeah, so that's, that leaned to about 14 to 1, so that's definitely a bit on the lean side. Now give it a bit of squeeze. Yeah, it goes up to like 15. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's too lean. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need to... I don't. It's weird how it just instantly leans out under boost, so we're going to have to make a couple of changes. Well, she's driving. Um, so, I don't care what the forums say. <laughs> The whole idea about clocking this thing out, it did nothing, literally. Um, we've manually possibly raised a bit of the fuel pressure. Not sure if it's done the job. Um, light throttles are great. There's, uh, the mixtures are fine. As soon as it starts building up any boost though, and it just leans straight out. So um, unfortunately, that's gonna have a bit of a drive back home. Um, 
with almost no throttle all the way to Te Awamuru. <laughs> but it's got so much potential you can really feel it like it starts to come on a boost and you know it's just going to absolutely take off so I think for now Matt you're actually going to have to uh, sort out that aftermarket ECU situation a lot quicker than, than you were planning um, so there you go people our conclusion is don't always believe what you read on the internet I'm going to do a little bit more research to see if we can sort of hunt something down and find a little bit more uh, if there's something perhaps that we've missed but at this stage the whole idea of running a turbo setup on a stock ECU is just not working um, so uh, the unfortunate conclusion of this video is that that turbo looks really cool and sounds great but is essentially useless <laughs> uh, and with that bombshell we out <laughs>